Hi everybody. All right, this one's actually very important with Switzerland and several other places doing this. Um, if Canada decides to actually do this, I would definitely not hesitate to move my family up to uh, Canada, which is just 20 minutes north. And I kind of have an idea where I would end up in that country, uh, as long as that land would still be semi-cheap. Um, but anyways, Canada is to test universal basic income which basically says that for all its citizens, uh, and it would be for all citizens, and you're right, I don't have citizenship in Canada, but I believe, uh, well, for being in the United States, I don't think it would be a total hardship to be able to apply for. Anyways, folks, um, if Canada decides to go through with this, I would definitely consider getting uh, citizenship in Canada and definitely um, getting some land and you know, going through the process, if it's if it's a lot of money for the um, basic income, um, even after you know college and everything else settles. But anyways, um, you know, a lot of countries are doing this. And I think this is a fantastic idea. I don't think that this should be something more than like five hundred dollars a month, but I think that it should be something people can actually live on, especially if you know the average store in their area is giving, let's say less than $300 a day or less than $500 a day, then yes, a universal basic income is or should be a must for those citizens. And only those making, say, under you know X or under Y should actually get it. And I think this is such a beautiful idea, um, especially with the U.S.'s situation where if you have health health insurance now, everything is double than what it should be. And if you have health insurance now, everything is moderately affordable, but still double what it should be. Um, so Canada is to test um, universal basic income, and I think this is fantastic. It is for all its citizens, but... I've had family members that are that do have Canadian citizenship. I can contact them about finding out how to do it and everything. Um, this is actually going on in the Canadian province of Ontario. It's taking next step toward offering standard income to all citizens. Universal basic income pilot project set to unroll this year. I think it means enroll, but okay. Um, it is actually in a 2016 budget statement by the government of Canada. Um, I don't know if it'll be in, for the entire federal government of Canada, whatever they call that. I believe it would just be called the federal government of Canada. Or if it would be um, for Ontario or how they're actually doing it. But the government will work with communities, researchers, and stakeholders uh, to figure out how to design the pilot. I think it would be amazing to be in that pilot program. And I definitely believe I would actually make an amazing researcher. Um, to actually go about doing this. Um, this is part of it right here. This is the government project and all the benefits thereof that they're introducing this. You can go in and look at that yourself. Um, I'm not concerned with that. I am concerned with this part right here that says out of courts, Ontario, Canada announced plan to test universal basic income for all its citizens. Uh, universal basic income is becoming a thing, so it's abbreviated UBI, uh, very hugely, but involved distributing small allowances to citizens regardless of need. The policy has gained popularity as a means of reducing bureaucracy and providing baseline level of support. Last year, Finland announced that it has conducted an investigation to whether the government could introduce UBI nationwide. Ontario said in its budget statement that the government hopes to test the UBI and could provide more economic stability for the future. The pilot project will test a growing view of home and abroad that a basic income could build on the success of minimum wage policies and increase child benefits by providing more consistent and predictable support in the context of today's 
dynamic labor market. Uh, the pilot would also to aim at establishing whether UBI could lead to social services savings overall, which it absolutely could. Uh, and this is actually told to the and spoken by uh, Canada's federal minister of families, children, and social development, uh, Jean Yves uh, Duclos, told the Globe and Mail, which will be another source I will put up. Uh, Ontario hasn't announced whether they'll go through the details of the proposal or when it actually come out. Uh, court says contact Ontario's Minister of Community and Social Services and will update this post with further details later on. There is an HTTP source down here for um, QZ. This is actually very important, folks. And I absolutely believe in this. I believe that if we gave everybody the first say, I would say if we gave, and we could literally give everybody the first $1,000, ladies and gentlemen. Honest to God, we could give everybody the first $1,000 a month. And that would go toward a thousand different things that we could use. Seeing that phones are roughly a hundred dollars a month, that could go toward that housing anywhere from six fifty to twelve fifty. That could go toward that. You could get um, a starting out family that have this basic income and a job on the side, bringing home let's say twelve hundred even or fifteen hundred a piece. And they have this UBI support, and each one could put 600 toward a house a month. That would be 1,200. That would actually be pretty kick-ass, pardon my language. But to me, kick-ass is a good thing and not a bad thing. But I would actually be very much in support of this. I don't see America doing this anytime soon, since they're worried about their war on drugs and war on terror and all the bullshit that they can't handle that is coming down out of their central government and their central banking schemes thereof. And I talk like that because that is exactly what it is. Not that Canada is not participating in that. They very much are, but to a much more subsidized level. Um, so anybody that reads this, if you are working as in the ability to do the research, I know I'm an American citizen, but I would very much love to um, go into the research and participate in the research in Ontario. I know I probably won't, and if I contact them, they'll probably deny me because I'm outside. But you know what? I am an American. I do have skills in research. I um, have done multiple projects for multiple people, of which I have, you know, at least some documentation I can present, and I can give them my opinion. And where I think it should be is that every single citizen should receive no less than 800 and no more than about 1300 in their universal basic income and that should be given to anyone who makes under thirty thousand dollars I believe that in my very blood and the way you use that is you do use it like these other social service programs where you do show that you are using it to pay for a house, groceries, and various other things of that sort. I completely believe in this, and I completely believe that it can definitely work for the benefit of all mankind. I completely believe in the UBI for all nations, under God, indivisible and everything else. Thank you.